In this section, we're going to see how to turn Building 24 into a church with lighted windows. And this is the prototype. Um, I've, I'm going to make a couple of little modifications um, into the actual building, but you can see uh, what it looks like. And uh, these are all acrylic windows, and then the little tea light gets lit up and goes inside. And I think the only big change I'm going to make is that I'm going to elongate this window so that it comes down to the same um, same starting point as the side windows. So that's what it would look like um, and what we'll accomplish in this video. So what we'll need is uh, there is one of the pages in the cutting and uh, layout guide is titled Turn Building 24 into a Church, so you'll need that. Um, of course we need a Building 24 and its roof. Um, we'll also need another piece of lightweight chipboard that is cut two and a half inches by three inches for the steeple and make sure the stiffness is in the two and a half inch direction. That'll give some uh, sturdiness to the steeple once we cut it. Uh, of course we need paper, decorative paper and cardstock. A piece of acrylic for the windows. It could be just packaging acrylic. It needs to be at least three by four inches. Um, so I have some alcohol inks here to color the uh, acrylic with and um, just various other uh, markers and tools, etc. So let's get started. So we start by cutting the gables in the church, and this is accomplished similarly to how we did all of the other buildings. The only exception is that uh, we need to do some of the next steps working in the flat. So instead of using our cardstock joining strips, to put the building together. We're just going to use some uh, blue tape or drafting tape, any kind of um, temporary uh, tape um, to just put on those joins. And so I'm just uh, going to build this. Um, make sure I've got good creases on the walls because once we cut the windows, um, some of the windows are very close to the wall joins and so um, it's best to have good creases to begin with. And just with some uh, pieces of uh, blue tape I'm going to join the building together both on the side and the roof just like before except we used cardstock joining strips then and um, we'll accomplish the cutting the gables the same way, giving it a, a good squeeze and then just following the line of that gable to with our scissors. have our gable cut and we'll remove our blue tape so that we can work in the flat. So we need to uh, mark to cut our windows next and that's uh, we'll refer to this sheet that turn building 24 into a church and this part of the diagram gives the dimensions for laying out the windows and all of the red spaces will be cut out. Those are, will be the windows in our church. So you, let's do that layout and I'm going to work in, in ink. Um, you can work in pencil, of course. It doesn't matter. These markings are on the inside. So I need a line that's up one, eight, one inch on the second, third, and fourth walls. And then I need a line that's up two inches. And it's okay to 
to draw these lines all the way across as long as you just don't get confused about where you're going to cut things. So now we've drawn this line. For the uh, windows in the gable end, we also need a line that comes up an inch past that. So I'll mark that just on the two gables. And then again on the two gables we need a mark that comes up three quarters of an inch from that last line we drew. So we'll come in here and mark that. Okay, so that takes care of that set of marks. So now let's see, going this way, the I've only put dimensions on one set of the sidewall windows and one uh, for the, the gable end, but they're both the, both the same. So the gables, there's 5 eighths of an inch, then 3 quarters, and then 5 eighths. So let's do that. So 5 eighths, and then 3 quarters from that line. And then we'll come over here on this other gable. And these are me measuring from the score line. So if you need to, you know, put a mark there so you can see where you're going to measure from. I'm also using the lines on my um, my cutting, uh, cutting mat as a guide as well. So here's our 5 eighths. For this one, it's a pretty tall. It's spanning both of those. And then um, coming over 3 quarters. Okay, so there's those two lines. And then to complete the, the, the pointed window here, um, we need to, this is at the center point, and remember that these walls are uh, all two inches wide. So I'm just going to come up here and mark one inch, one inch in from the side. It should line up right with the point there if your cutting was was accurate so that we've got that little point marked. And now we'll connect these dots and that takes care of the gable ones. So I'm just going to put an X to make sure I remember I'm cutting out all of those pieces. Now let's mark for the side wall windows. And they are one quarter inch in from the outside edge. And then the windows themselves are half an inch wide. And this again is on both sides. And I'm just using my um, cutting mat to make sure that I've got the, the side lined up with that two inch side because sometimes on this score line it's a little hard to tell exactly where it is. So we're coming in a quarter of an inch and then the window is a half an inch wide and that uh, means that there's a half an inch in between the two windows to add it all up to um, two inches. And again, I'll put my little X's on here so I remember which side pieces. You know, you can refer to your, to the um, cutting and scoring layout. So, but I just, oops, there's a quarter inch here on the, the side first. Then a half inch window. half inch in between the windows and the second one half inch window. And mark those exits. So now I'm going to cut out these windows and what I would like to do is um, save these pieces. It's not so critical for the these rectangles down here. But make sure you save the two um, gable windows because we'll need them as templates to cut out the trim.
So now we have all of our window openings cut. You can see them nicely from this side. So we want to add our decorative paper. And I'm going to first, when we add the decorative paper, we're going to cut it even with these edges. So I'm going to just take and ink the inside of my windows. You can you can, I, I just don't want to see the, the bare chipboard. I'm just using a brown color um, just to get rid of that raw chipboard look there. Okay, and uh, so this is very similar to how uh, we covered the other walls. We're just going to work in, in the flat here. And so I want to first start out by inking my edges. Uh, we're going to cut the paper just like we measure and cut, just like we did for um, the all the other ones. And so there's just a little scrap for me to keep track of my measurements. Um, all these walls are two inches tall. Uh, two, I'm sorry, two inches wide. So I know that the width is one and seven eighths. Because again, I want that that. Uh, 1 16th inch reveal and then measuring from the bottom to the tippity top of the gables I get 1, 2, 3, 4 and 1 half. I'm going to just check the other gable. Yep, 4 and a half. So I'll cut the gable 4 and 3 eighths tall and the flat sides are two and one half inches tall so I'll cut them two and three eighths tall. And I am using this time a paper that is definitely directional. There are words on it so that I want to make sure that I keep the words oriented the correct way when I'm cutting. So I'm going to cut, this is the eight, from the 8x8 eight eight pad, I'm going to cut two strips that are 1 and 7 eighths inches wide and I should be able to get all of the, the pieces from that. So there's uh, nothing special, up. well I'm sorry, there is something special. Before you attach these around the windows, you want to use some uh, 1 8 inch score tape because we're going to cut out around those windows. Alternatively, as you went to put each of these pieces down, you could just run a, make sure you ran a, a thin bead of glue around each one of the window openings. You just want to have something, uh, some kind of adhesive around the openings.
Once we get to this stage, we want to flip it over and taking our craft knife, let's burnish first. And then flip it over and cut out uh, around each one of the openings. I like to burnish again at this point just to make sure those edges are all staying nice and down. We're going to put trim on these windows, but if it may be possible there's a white white line from the core of the cardstock right here so you can come in there and ink that if you would like to to make sure that um, that isn't going to show and I'm going to do that Okay, so we've got our openings cut and it's time to put in the windows. So to prep for that, we're going to take and draw a line that is 7 eighths inch of the, away from the bottom on, for, so that there's like an eighth of an inch in between the line and the cut openings here. Let me do that in a different color here. Hopefully you can see that. And we'll just mark a, a similar kind of line up here for this window. It's about an eighth of an inch underneath the opening. It's more important for these windows down here that when we, this is to a, a guide for putting the acrylic on. We don't want to go past this line because the little base bases that each one of the buildings sit on stick up a little bit more than three quarters of an inch and we don't want the buildings to get caught uh, on the base when you try to put them in and the acrylic might be just thick enough depending on what kind you use um, if you don't stay uh, above that line to cause uh, some interference. So. Let's put that aside for a moment and uh, talk about the windows. So I just uh, used a piece of leftover packaging plastic and uh, took some alcohol inks. I don't, can't remember if I told you what colors at the beginning, so I'll say them again. I used a latte and ginger and some copper. But you, of course, could use whatever colors you want. And I colored a piece that is uh, the, my 3x4 piece of acrylic. And that that is like the bare minimum of what you need. So if you like to have a little bit extra so you don't have to go right up to the edges, you know, by all means, cut a slightly bigger piece. So that this is the acrylic. It's been um, cut on both sides. I mean, I covered it on both sides. It's personal preference. I wanted something a little bit darker. So that's my acrylic ready to go. And we'll cut that into the sizes that we need. The other thing we need to prep to put it on here is to run some score tape uh, to attach them with inside the windows. And we'll do this just like we did on the outside 
to make sure the paper stood right up there. We'll just use our eighth inch score tape and come right around. Now we're on the inside of the windows and just come right around the inside of each window. Let's give that a burnish. Okay. Cutting this acrylic. So I'm, I'm going to do on the side walls, we'll do both. Um, we won't cut two separate pieces. We'll just have one piece. And we'll cut it about a half an inch tall and just shy of two inches so that um, there's no binding when we go to fold the building back together. So we'll cut two pieces that are just shy of, of um, two inches wide and, a, and an inch and a half tall. And so since this is three inches tall, I'm going to cut my uh, two inches here, or just shy of two inches. just shy is like oh a sixteenth of an inch or so so I'll cut you can just score this with your craft knife and snap it you can also cut it on your uh, paper trimmer um, I, my blade is kind of dull right now so I don't want to dull it up even more so I'd rather just do this with a craft knife So those for the two side windows. Then this piece that's about an inch wide, we'll just cut it into two pieces that are three inches tall to begin with. We'll leave one three inches tall. And then I forget how tall this one needs to be. Oh, about an inch, a two and a quarter. So we'll cut this one at two and a quarter. All right. We can put all of them in except for this wall right here the, next to our joining wall. We're going to wait till we put the building together to put this one in. So we can put these three in. Before I go to put them in, I like to, on these gable ones, mark to see what I need to, to trim off. So I'm just taking a, I'm just holding it up here before I remove the score tape. And it doesn't have to be exact, you know, as, as long as it's inside of the gable. I'm just kind of marking marking some lines so that it is as big as my score tape but it is um, not going to be bigger than the gable. So we'll do the same thing over here. Make sure that's right. Yeah, that looks good. I think I'll trim just a smidge more on this side. Okay, so let's put on these three windows.
remember to not go past the line you marked here and if this looks like it's going to interfere with the the sides trim trim this back I mean you could even I'm folding this edge up here just to make sure it's not going to interfere and everything looks great so I'll put that down and then we'll continue on with this one Again, staying above the red line. And let's give these a burnish. See how that's going to look. Still need to add our trim, but that's going to make what looks like stained glass for our windows. We'll leave this one open for now and let's uh, work on our trim a little bit.